welcome to Anatomy with Dr. Jasma. Let's talk some more about that foreskin. Big shout out to Foregen for making this super, super realistic foreskin anatomical model. It's amazing. I've never seen such amazing detail in a model. Look, there's, there's our, our venules and our capillaries. This is the part, this is the frenulum here. This part is actually gonna make up the tip of the penis, and that's where those Meissner corpuscles are at, those really, really sensitive nerve endings, the same ones that give us two-point discrimination on our fingers. So let's talk about how this guy and this guy work together. Right here, so we know that this is the frenulum. This part of the foreskin is actually gonna connect or, or actually sit flush against the actual penis. So we're just gonna fold it down like that. Now it's shaped this way because when they remove the foreskin, they make a dorsal cut. And a dorsal cut is just gonna be a cut from the top of the penis. So this part, and this is, they're not, uh, correctly uh, matched in size, but we'll make it work. So this part attaches on the underside of the penis. So right there's the frenulum. Right here is where that part of the foreskin is going to attach. So I kind of turn it like this so you can see it. So now we're gonna come up. This part is actually gonna connect on the top side of the penis. That's where that dorsal cut's gonna come in at. And I'll try to hold it on here just the best that I can. But what we got here, and again, remember, this is not, uh, this model and these models weren't made for each other, but we're just, we're seeing how it works. So that foreskin is gonna attach here, and you know, you can see that's just, just not quite the right size, but that's okay. So this, look at this right here. That right there, that is, where all of those nerve endings are. It's so amazing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna remove the penis. We'll see. I say I am. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Trigger warning, right? Okay, so I got our penis, got our foreskin, this part, so right here's our frenulum, or right here's the frenulum from that foreskin, and it's gonna go right against that right there. This is gonna fold around, and this is gonna go around. We can pull this a little bit tighter. So right here, this is how that foreskin works. Now, I might can make it work with a little lubricant. Actually, I think I'm gonna try. Hang on a second. Okay, so I got a little lubricant on there. So now what we can see is that mechanism, how that mechanism works. So this part of the foreskin is attached down to the penis. This part is kind of an overlay. And then it's just gonna glide up over, glide up over the head of the penis here. Right? And then when it's time for um, urination or, or uh, sex, or penetration, whatever, masturbation, then the foreskin glides back. And again, it's not the, not the right size, but that's okay. It glides back and exposes the head of the penis. And remember, this area right here is extremely, extremely sensitive. Now, that's not the only sensitive part of the foreskin. In fact, the whole thing is very sensitive and very, um... so just, it's just something to think about. You know, if, if we're circumcising our, our baby boys, um, you know, why are we doing that? The, the whole argument that, um, that it's cleaner, you know, I mean, ladies have folds in their labia and we don't, Hopefully, we don't cut off labia. We just teach our ladies how to wash their vulvas. And I feel like we could probably do a very similar thing with our, with our young men, and we can teach them, or our penis owners, we could teach them how to just to pull that tissue back and wash underneath there, right? 
um, the whole argument that it helps prevent, prevent STDs and, and um, you know, that's a, that's not a really very evidence-based argument. There was a study done decades ago that kind of somewhat showed that, you know, we've since disproved that. This is a, an anatomical structure that has a, a reason to exist. And if we're removing it, you know, essentially just because our fathers had their, didn't have one, yeah, you know, who cares if your penis looks like your dad's penis? I mean, you know, something to think about.